You don't have your wallet thing thing. No, I have this nice broom. No, we can't leave our slippers outside the door. There's a big <laughs> sign that says, do not leave your slippers like on the outside. I guess it's just like a and cleaning where, thing. And where are your slippers right now? I don't know, they're outside. So I'm going back out in five minutes. <laughs> it says there right away, strictly no slippers okay, okay. on the door. hesitant about my cockle salad here. <laughs> There's a what? A cock a doo 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 in there? I don't know what a cockle. A cockle I'm thinking is a snail, isn't it? A cock? <laughs> I'm movable. Good morning guys. It's great to be back. We just had our first night in Chiang Mai. Uh, it's a beautiful day it's a little muggy outside looking forward to going out uh Zuna, what are you looking at <laughs> looking at our empty fridge empty fridge okay okay well, we actually uh, bought some sausages last night <laughs> so yeah. yeah um we're going to uh find a cheaper place here to buy our groceries because the place where, that we went to yesterday it was very expensive yes so we're going to find a way this way this time okay i think to the mountain area more of the local more area the local area okay. and hopefully we'll find a wet market so we okay. can look at their vegetables yeah, yeah we gotta find the same thing like philippines like a wet market because <laughs> yeah. if you we went to like the foreign market there like during the seven it was like crazy prices for yeah. everything just like one avocado is like, like two dollars yeah. I will show you. So this one is from that. I'm not gonna show that market. Okay. But this is 66.75 baht. So 120 pesos. 120 pesos for this. And it's not even a kilo. It's a yeah. 0.8. So 120 pesos for not even a kilo ramatan. Right now in Baha, yeah. they were going for 50 pesos per kilo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, certain things are more expensive, but it's because we went to the wrong market. Yes, so. we did. And you promise we're not gonna get Filipino food love. Nope. Okay, we no. don't want a whole bunch of soy sauce and vinegar here. This, We're gonna do well. They have soy sauce. It's not Filipino soy sauce, but it is a Thailand soy sauce. There's a Thailand soy sauce. It's, it's a Thailand right. soy sauce. It has a baby on the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We gotta try doing Thai here. We're in Thailand. We're gonna do Thai. Yeah. Filipina meets Thai. Okay. All right. Well, let's go for our walk. Let's go. So this is guys the the main road. Basically where we're staying here, this is called the, the Nimin area of Chiang Mai. It's pretty much where all the expats, all the digital nomads go because the internet's very good here. There are plenty of condos and lots of coffee shops and restaurants around. So we went left the other day. There you go, you gotta watch out where you walk here. Everything's on the opposite side. Right now we're going somewhere a bit more local. Uh, like Serena says, we're trying to find um, some local food. Pretty cool how the signs are like very nice. Oh, there's more here bikes. Oh, more of the e-bikes. Oh, not e-bikes, but uh, rental bikes. That's cool. We're up early right now, but I imagine all these places are opened up in the evening. They will only open like 6. <laughs> 6 p.m. The live starts here at 6 p.m. Yeah. It's like even last night we came home at 9 30 yeah and the party is just starting <laughs> yeah yeah some banana trees right in the city that's like why we love thailand even the philippines has those vibes but you're in the city and you, you're still surrounded by like some jungle uh, that's where we get our water i guess oh, i don't know yeah all right serena we have to cross we? we have to cross yeah we have to cross that way we have to cross left so weird walking <laughs> When they're driving on the opposite side. Oh, yeah. We don't know if we go or we stay <laughs> or what are we doing? Okay, okay. It looked like it was this way. It was either this way or... We don't know where we're going, guys. Is it this way? I'm not oh, too sure. Now. Yeah, definitely some more budget-friendly apartments. Ah, 
in here in Thailand they have a supermarket called the Big C yeah. and they've got these mini C's all over the city we found out and I'm guessing they're just smaller versions of the the other ones so I'm not sure if we're gonna be allowed to vlog in here but we'll uh, do our best oh, we got the little C okay we got a little basket basket time okay it's like a bigger version, I guess, of a 7-Eleven. This is my favorite section. Yeah, hey, what's your favorite section here? My favorite section is this one. Okay, this all, this, all the sausages. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of Filipinos love their hot dogs and meats, and here it's like crazy, the price. So look at uh, this very one, Very good, guys. very good deals. Um, I think this is a egg tofu, like ready, ready to eat. I want to see really if they had like some vegetables here. Yeah. We're literally in this small, grocery store well, we've heard good things about it oh right here nice i like this stuff ready cut we got some corn carrots coriander mushroom lettuce two different types of mushroom 35 baht so about a dollar 50 canadian already cut I can't complain about that. Little onions, carrots, all your mushrooms. Okay, okay. But we are not in the right place for the vegetables. We're not in the right place for the vegetables. We want to do more local. So I don't even know if we're going to fill our cart like what we thought or are we going to continue looking for something more local, right? We really wanted to find some like real fresh veggies and visit a real market here. So it's looking like a... Uh, these mini seas, although very convenient, are not really for uh, long-term stays, long-term people like us who are looking at getting a little more vegetable, a little more meat. So yeah, on to the next spot then, Zarina. Yeah. <laughs> birds. <laughs> Look at the nice birds. Beautiful. Yeah, I think this is just an overgrown path. Yeah, watch out because the cars are right here. Okay, look in your Why are you always like scared of me walking? Because you don't look where you're going. What do you mean? You're just like straight like up. up like this. There's so much to see. That's a cool thing too about here we're not really scared of getting lost right no. we have two phones we have our gps not gps we have google maps you can't get lost guys i mean just go out venture around i don't even know where we're going we have quite a good sense of direction me and you so we're gonna just bring it. it looks like we're definitely in a local area which is really cool how do the houses differ like from philippines like if you look at like this one would you say they're almost the same? They're almost the same, but definitely the, their roofs. Okay. Um, it has like a, like a, here in Thailand, it's like a pyramid uh, style with okay. like... Yeah, with like, like a, there's a name for that. Not it. all these little coffee shops, all on these little roads. It's so cool. Right now, it feels like we're in a barangay. It feels like we're in a barrio a little. my directions didn't work no okay so now we're we we ended up going to what Google Maps <laughs> we want to cross legally so I think we got to find a crosswalk Lotus, uh... all right we're in the busier area here we want to cross just now where, where are you gonna cross this. really yeah oh, this one to go it's always hard to see which cars are going where. Okay, after these bikes, maybe? Oh no. Big truck, yeah, let's do it. Ah. Now we gotta look this way when we cross here. Oh, off. Ah. This is a good place to eat. 
going to eat here before going shopping? Yep. Okay, we're going to try it out. Let's do it. Uh, Nice, Serena. So we're gonna eat before the supermarket? Yeah. That was our mistake uh, yesterday when we went to the supermarket, we, had, we didn't eat. And then we were like super hungry when we uh, when we got there. It's literally like a million things on the menu, guys. Like we're just, it's, we've been here for five minutes looking around. I think we're just gonna go for something random. Uh, I'm gonna try this, I don't know what it is. Spicy cockle salad. I don't know what that is, it's 80 baht. So roughly $3.50 Canadian, I guess, 150 pesos. I'm going for that. And just look at the prices, guys. Ranges from 69 70 Look at that. Yeah, super cheap. We'll have the prices on here for you guys to see. An example would be like fried kale with pork over rice, uh, kale with oyster sauce, um, Chinese morning glory with chicken, stir-fried chili, holy basil, mackerel and tomato sauce. I mean, it just doesn't end, guys. There's so much good stuff. Okay, Serena, so you know what you want yet? I've decided. Okay. I'm gonna get the stir-fried squid with salted egg. Okay, so one stir-fried squid with salted egg. And you are getting And the... one spicy cockle salad. We'll see Serena's Thai. They don't speak uh, as much English as they do in the Philippines, so... Yeah, let's see what we got here. Spicy cockle. Uh, can I have one of this? And then one of this one. Anything else? No, that's it. That's it. Thank you. No, thank you. So, how do you say thank you in Thai? Thank you is Hakun Ma for okay. female. Hakun Ma. Ma or Ka? Ma or Ka. I don't know. Ma or Ka. But anyway, Hakun Ma. And then for as a female saying thank you, it's ma. Okay, if it's a if male, it's a male it's saying crab. thank you, it's crab. But then sometimes you call ka crab ka. Yeah. So we're crab. still going, but yeah. you have to put your hands together and yeah. do the. And then you say like this, ka kun ma. Yeah, and they're very polite. It's so cool to see. Okay, cool little spot here, guys. Uh, kitchen's right in the back. As you can see, a lot of people here. And the main street is right here, super cool, very nice. A little different on the side of our table here, we haven't seen before. Yeah, so they give us our cups, you can just grab your water here, well this is not for free, because yeah. when you use it, they will charge you for it, yeah. you don't have to ask them. No. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's on all the, all on the sides of the, the tables here, so that's pretty neat. I'm a little hesitant about my cockle salad here. Maybe there's a cockadoo doo doo. There's a what? Cockadoo doo doo. A cockadoo doo doo in there? I don't know what a cock. A cock. I'm thinking is a snail, isn't it? A cock. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a snail or like one of those things. That you, know? you have to like have a toothpick. You. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is my cockle. That's pretty good. That was for good price on this one. So I'm guessing it is oysters. Oyster. Okay, so I'm having oysters. You're having um, squid with salted egg and tomato. Tomato. Okay, let's do it. I think I gotta go get some utensils. Over here. Over here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so no uh, chopsticks. Do you want a spoon? I'll have a yeah. I'll have a maybe spoon. a spoon and a fork. Yeah. Okay, I really want to try this spicy cockle here, so I'm gonna grab a bit of everything. So that's what it looks like, guys. Ooh, that's for my mom. I'm gonna grab an onion. This looks like fresh coriander. And a little carrot here. Right there, guys, look at that. Mm. Wow. Mmm. It's yes. not coriander, this is celery leaves. Celery, okay. Mm. Very nice. It's fresh. Great. Come on, yours. What's yours? So, can I borrow your fork? Sure. Squid, tomatoes, and salted egg. See? Okay. Wow. Mine was really spicy, by the way. How about yours? 
It's very creamy. Okay. Salty, sweet. Mm. Very good. Squid is very. Uh, it has a nice texture. Yeah. It's not hard. It's nice, chewy. Yes, very yes, good. yes, yes. Okay, update on our meal. Mine was super spicy. Um, Serena, yours? Very good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very delicious, guys. She's got the tentacles left to eat. Capoli. Ooh, this is for my mother. <laughs> she loves those. Look at that, Serena. So mine was 80, yours was 80. Thank you very much. Okay, that was good. That was a cool little restaurant. Very worth it for your buck. For the buck. We love doing that. Like, sometimes it gets like redundant. We keep saying it like, oh, uh, this one cost us, for, uh, for example, this meal that you guys uh, just saw cost 160 baht. So we're like converting it to peso. So we're like 160 to peso with the exchange rate. It's about like 280 pesos. <laughs> but that was, huge meal. it was great. We didn't have rice. We didn't have any yeah. drinks. But for $7 Canadian to sit down and be served. And squid, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, like, like a full squid, I mean, yeah. fresh as can be. With all the tentacles. Yeah, so it's great. I mean, your days can be spent like we're going to, our plan was to go to a supermarket today. It is our plan, but uh, we're having a difficult time finding one. So we're gonna eat, go yeah. for some walking. Oh, look at that, Museum of World Insects and Natural Wonders. What's that? Museum of World Insects and Natural Wonders. Oh, okay. We might have to check that freaking thing out. Okay, maybe we'll buy a car while we're here. <laughs> our supermarket's right over there, but we're having problems crossing the road. Oh, right here. Is this our chance? This is our chance. This is our chance. Can we get a push basket? Can we get a basket? What's it called? Okay. So it is bulk. We wanted to get some garlic, but the <laughs> that's the garlic we're getting. Sorry? The main mushroom, no? No, it's dry. I don't know what kind of mushroom that uh, is. Oh, fungus. Yeah, this oh, is the... Fungus. Dry white fungus. Huh. Okay, so it's more bulk. This is the dried bean curd. I remember this when I was in Hong Kong. You just have to uh, cut it in small. Okay. And then you can use it for the hot pot or you can stir fry it. Really? Is it good? Very good. Oh, they have mung bean. Oh, you want some mung, Zerina? No, thank you. Zerina, really stick a mung. Wow. Dried chili. Okay, lots of different mushrooms. We said we were going to get one. Okay, so we're getting one. One guava. So one it says Thai here guava. 62 per kilo, but 62 we just wanted to try this. Okay. Green paste curry. Ah, vegetarian green curry paste. Oh, that's cool. They're about 25. 25 baht each. Would you like to try? Yeah, let's get a couple of them. But right, salmon. salmon. Curry paste. We'll try. So we'll just try to get three. So you, yeah, we got three curry paste. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, you want to check here? There's some nice mushrooms I'm looking over here. Yeah. You said we want to try something different. So a lot of different mushrooms we that can get. That mushroom that looks like a sock. <laughs> is that a good one? Yeah. Which one? This one here. This is the one that you liked last time. Really? Yeah. They stay good for a while? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So we're going to get all those mushrooms there? Yeah. And you know how to cook them? Yeah. Okay. Can't really see what they look like, but... Okay, um, so maybe one... They look like the hoodoos. The rock thing, the hoodoo. Oh, okay, okay. 69 baht, so roughly 100 pesos for all those mushrooms. Okay, mushrooms. One pack's enough, I would say. Yeah. 39 per unit. So 39 baht for this? Oh, so it's a family of kale. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Oh, Chinese out. kale? Yeah. Okay, let's get a bag. Kind of looks like long spinach. 
We've had this before in Canada, I think. I don't know if we have. Looks familiar though. I think we have some discount uh, discount items here. <laughs> huh? I don't think so. I think it's someone else's card. No, no, no. My dad. My dad always does this. He goes looks for these cards like this, and but this is someone else's card. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, pops. I was doing that one for you. I was trying to get you a discount, but I guess we're playing top dollar on this uh, vacation. See someone's up there. See someone's order. Uh, someone's order. Uh, oh, because they do online delivery. Oh, uh, maybe, true. maybe. So we need to get some eggs. Why are the eggs different colors here? Look at this. Everyone's Purple, salted. yellow, blue, red, green, orange. Are they salted? Yeah, I think so. Do you want to get uh, some eggs? Okay, nice brown eggs. Doesn't go by dozen, it goes by 15. So for 15 eggs, 82 baht. 130 pesos or three dollars Canadian for 15 eggs and they look pretty good They're all from like a big company. So I imagine we're safe taking these. Should we get a pack? Yeah, you don't have white. We like our eggs Best before October. Uh, I don't know the dates are wrong 1967, I don't know. Yeah good, we're Okay, let's go check out upstairs see what they got Flowers, look at that. Edible flowers. Sea crab. Can we bring the cart upstairs? It's okay. Ah, thank you. Jesus. Serena's first time pushing a cart. If it looks up, but how do you get down? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Who knows if you can bring your cart down? Looks like we're not supposed to bring our cart up. I think we can. Really? But then maybe you have to pay it upstairs now. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, we'll see. Let's see what else is going on here. So cool, it doesn't, they don't go down, eh? Yeah. Okay, we want to get coconut milk. This is what it looks like. They don't come in cans. But we're not sure once you open this, how long it stays good for. Dish, or do you want to get this brand, 113? It's cheaper. Yeah, I like the one with like the picture of the face on it. This one looks like a good... Everyone's buying this one, guys. There you go, coconut milk, times six, five bucks, 200 pesos, let's go. Okay, Zarina, what are you getting now? Fish tofu. Fish tofu. Okay, so it's not really vegan then, I guess. It has Thai writing. So. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to get ingredients to make Thai noodle soup. So the next one is? Yosa vegetable. Vegetable yosa, okay, I see, vegetable yosa with our kale, mushroom, fish ball, uh, fish tofu, and a good sauce thing. We found out actually this store, it's called Macro. Yeah. Uh, we found out this is for bulk. Yes. So it's better than the other little store we were at, but everything here seems to be bulk. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. if you want to buy soy sauce, it comes in packs of threes. Kind of like a mini Costco, I, I guess. A lot of frozen stuff on the second floor. Okay, you found some noodle? Yeah, but I, there's no price for this one. There's no price? Mm -hmm. So they have some fresh noodles there. Do you want to get a fresh... Kelp noodle. Huh? Kelp, Kelp noodle. noodle. Ooh. Those look, like sea, those look like super jelly. So we'll definitely get some tofu and we'll get a fresh, fresh noodle. A yeah, soft tofu? Firm tofu. Is that firm? You want to get a firm tofu? Yeah. One or two? Maybe just one? Maybe just one. All right, can we get one of these fresh noodles? Here's for like a one-time cook. I think this is enough for a one-time cook. Okay, looks good. All right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Our first shop in Thailand. Buying stuff that we're not sure about. We can spend hours in here, guys. I don't know. We're foodies, I guess. You can tell. Hey, you can tell by my second chin. But, oh, Zarina, the price is here. Yogurt. But yeah, we're foodies, so like for us coming into a supermarket and just looking at all the different stuff and like willing to try the things, yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> what else we got here? Quail eggs. Quail, boiled quail eggs. Already boiled? Yes. What should we do, Zarina, next time? What are you laughing at now? Chris, Chris wanted to buy this one here. I wanted to buy it. Garlic herb. I wanted to get the garlic but herb. But then I told to him it. that we have to get it next time, so we have to walk to get it. Yeah, we gotta walk a bit more here. We're not walking enough. 
All right, we can't get down. Where do we go? Elevator. Oh, there's two elevators. We take an elevator? Yeah. Remember, love, we have to carry this like six kilometers back home. No, not six kilometers, but a few kilometers. Oh, there's the croissants. Oh, Zarina would love these. We're going to get some of this random stuff here. Flossy chicken. I don't know what the heck this is. I always choose the one in the middle because I think like less people touched it. Flossy chicken with chili paste Chinese cake. Serena, what do you think of this one? Ooh, what's that? Yay or nay? Flossy chicken with chili paste Chinese cake. We'll try it? We'll try it. 70, 70 baht. 100 pesos. $2.50. There's 12 in here. This is a big, big thing in here. I'll check these ones out later. Look at our cart, guys. Are you getting breasts? I thought you were going to get the tenders. There's tenders over there that you actually don't have to remove the bones or nothing from. They're, they're boneless already. Are they? Yeah. There's no bones? Nada. Is that boneless 79 per kilo? Yeah. Wow. Okay, good price. It's all, everyone in the Philippines, boneless chicken breasts, 79 baht per kilo. The way I'm doing the math, guys, is that it's a little less than double the price. So I double it, so it's 80. I round it off to 80 times 2, 160 minus a bit. So it's about 140 pesos per kilo of the chicken. Should we get two? Sure. Yeah, more than enough? Yeah, more than enough. Because we can come and walk again, eh? Yeah, sure. Is enough? Two, yep. Yeah. Do they weigh it for us here? Maybe he weighs it for us. We gotta, oh, we gotta give it to our man. Okay. <clears throat> Um, what else did you say we wanted to check? You said coffee, maybe? Because yeah. you like the coffee that Actually, uh, Kate left us, yeah. but it's still like the instant. Yeah. And Thailand's known for their for their tea. <laughs> Zarina sees the strawberry stuff. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, Zarina? Oh, Zarina, you gotta stop her this one. Oh, you touched the oh sorry, sorry, I touched the meat and I touched her face. That's why we're strong, though. Maybe uh, coffee. Is this wine? I've been good with my beer. Have I been good with my beer? Yes, you are. Uh, we've been here two days it and no beer. no beer, no alcohol. No. Um, yeah, here in Thailand, beer is actually a bit more expensive. And for all my brothers out there from the Philippines, Philippine beer is twice as good. There's no comparison. I, I love beer. Philippine beer is on top. Red Horse, Pale Pilsen, it's way better than any of the beers here in Thailand. Sorry for any people from Thailand watching, but that's, that's just my opinion. Uh, but there's other stuff here you can indulge in. What's that? Very expensive. A little, little pricey. Uh, 91 baht. Uh -huh, for for around 150 pesos. Four dollars Canadian. But that's our uh, cantaloupe. Yeah. We haven't had this in years. I haven't had this in like four years. Something a little different here. They just use the price gun yeah. to charge you inside. Then you got to push your cart outside and you bag it for yourself out here. So what was the price in baht for everything here? Thousand, let's say thousand five hundred baht. So that would be what two thousand five hundred pesos for all this. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, sixty dollars yes, Canadian. Definitely good for like comparing Philippine price. Yeah. And uh. Yeah, better prices better for sure. Because just the onion itself, the yeah. yogurt, it's like Very the good. meat. Yeah, okay. meat's good. Okay, we're blocking everyone here, so we're gonna put our stuff in the bags. See you guys later. <laughs> All right, because I did the pushing for the cart. Now Chris is going to carry everything. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. One. Bag is full. <laughs> it's okay, my arms are big. So I, uh, I'll carry it. I'll no, help you carry it. We'll go straight. You had fun though? Yeah, it was good. That's different, eh? Yeah. It, it feels like you you are being rushed to do it, but I don't know if we are just being rushed to do the things or we just it feels don't like, know. Yeah, it feels like everyone else is taking their time and we're the ones that are like thinking yeah. we have to rush, we have to be quick. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's go it's home. Take us a couple more weeks to get used to it. Yeah. Let's go home. It might rain. 
What are you getting now? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I saw this on the side. It's like pork floss, pork jerky. So I know we're getting that there. It looks very good. 45 baht, 80 pesos. Can't go wrong. Let's do it. You have five baht for me? Can you check here? So how do I say thank you now? Hakun crap. Hakun? Hakun crap? Yeah. Hakun crap. Hakun crap. Yes. You so I felt so bad. We came in the elevator and I looked down. There's this big beetle here. So I'm kind of worried that someone's going to step on this poor guy. I don't know how to pick him up. He kind of stings a bit. By right? oh, if he bites this thing, I gotta pick him up though. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna put him up. Oh, he actually does doesn't bite, but he kind of hurts. It's stuck to my hand now. Ouch! 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 Go there. Ouch! He put his hand into me. Hey, I'm sorry. I was trying to help you out. Stay over there now. Go fly over there in the jungle. Ouch. I hope it doesn't swell up. The beetle kind of bit me on the hand. Did you try to save it? I did. I put it out there. Stay over there. All right, let's fill the fridge. Okay, so fill up our little fridge with a bunch of this stuff. Yoza vegetables here for our noodles. Fish tofu. Nice. Then we have chicken. Chicken breast. Chicken breast. Nice. How about meat? Pork. 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 Yeah. Okay. Then we have the beef. beef. Look at that, guys. Are we on vacation or are we moving here? I don't know. Hmm. Pretty good, actually, to do an Airbnb. What do you think about the Airbnb compared to hotel? I say uh, for the long term, it is better to do Airbnb. Yeah. For just like short term, like two weeks, it's better to do, I guess, the... Uh, you think? Hotel. For yeah. two weeks? Yeah. That long? Weeks. You'd say a hotel? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where we differ. I think anything longer than like three days, four days, you should do a kitchenette because unless you're cool with eating restaurant food three days, uh, three times a day, but for me, I think a week, two weeks... Okay. Well, like for two weeks, you're eating too much of the... Well, for yes. me, you're yeah, eating for too you. much for of me, the... For me, I can't do too much restaurant. Restaurant food. And then we've got mushrooms, we've got our noodles. Yeah, noodles. There you go, guys. Beautiful day out here. We might take a little rest inside. We spent uh, most of the morning and the afternoon out. Uh, we honestly have food for at least a week. Um, and that's for $50. We might have to go out and get little things, like maybe some more noodles, or we didn't get any rice. Look at this. What did we, we end up getting? show you this earlier. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this again? So, yeah, fried shallots. Ooh. Onions. Spring onions. Fried green onions. Damn. See, guys, I'm trying to lose my weight. You see, I'm doing good. I'm <laughs> doing good. <laughs> I guess we'll keep this in the fridge, too. I'm worried about getting maybe ants in the house. Lower. Okay. We got our coconut milk. There we go. Look at all that, guys. Oh, and what's this? Okay, I, I showed you earlier. We stop at the uh, street oh, food yeah, place. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's... What's that? My guess is mustard seed, coriander. Coriander. Coriander seed. seed that's my guess. Hmm. There, we're gonna have this. maybe this later. Nice. Very nice, guys. Okay, so first outing out. Getting our supermarket, Thai supermarket market yeah. food. We did pretty good with getting Thai. Yes, we did. Okay, she's trying this flossy chicken with chili paste Chinese cake. How is it? Soft. <laughs> Can I see the insides? Mmm. Wow. Nice. That mm. looks like a... It's very good. It's what's like that? What's that? Shopao? Like... Uh, Not no. Shopao. Uh... Hopia. Hopia. Mm. What's it taste though? It's very tasty. It has a little salt, sweet. Not spicy. What's the What's the taste. consistency though of the inside? The is it like beans or something or what? No. 
Well, that's like a ground chicken, right? Okay, so it's like ground chicken. Flossy wow. chicken. Okay, okay. I don't know. It's hard to describe that, I guess. Flossy mm. chicken. Is it like a crispy? I picture it like a crispy skin kind of. No, it's, it's uh, nice and chewy. It's soft. Oh, really? Can Funny. I see it one more time? Huh. Okay. Almost looks like a jam mm. of some sort. No, it's actually like a paste. Really? Okay, okay. I see. Okay, okay. Mm. There we go. A paste. Chicken Plus paste. If you guys have watched our Philippine vlogs and we go through these markets that uh, all these like uh, locals are selling their vegetables and uh, meat and stuff like that. We're kind of trying to find that here in Chiang Mai yeah. and we haven't had luck yet. So if you're watching and you're from Chiang Mai and you can help us out, um, let us know where the wet markets are around. We're around the Nimin area so ideally we would like something within an hour walking distance from us. But uh, yeah, good. Good for day two guys. Um, thank you all for watching again. We hope you guys are enjoying these, these little vlogs here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, baby. Peace and love. Rina.